evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. I got you! Ha <laughs> ha! You can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs> This is actually to answer a question of a patron and I am opening it a bit more to can make a new video about Eno files. This is actually my usual workspace and we're going to make a new project based on Eno files. So we do a new sketch. And we gave it a test, Timo, give it a name. We use the ESP, as you can see. I have a uh, lots of boards installed here, but that's not the point. So I'm using all the defaults here, which is the last ones I used. And it's the standard Eno file, yeah. Okay. So we have Timo here. And you see, if you compile, Slub will make a slub.eno.cpp file, which is, it's always been there. Uh, it used to be .eno.cpp, which was hidden, and that wasn't really good. And now it's visible, it's not really good as well. But yeah, I need something. So, uh, what's so special about this file? The first thing it is here, if it, if, def, in eclipse, and, and if. So basically, this file is only taken into account if you are in Eclipse, which is your in Sluber. Sluber defines this one. Uh, the Arduino ED will simply, plainly ignore this file, which makes for good compatibility between the two. Now, uh, you see here, uh, 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 includes of Arduino.h two times. That's not a problem. That's just the algorithm. That's because the, def the demo.eno includes arduino.h as well so it adds the default ones and it adds all the includes then it adds all the function defines and then actually it includes demo.eno yeah the way this works is actually we tell the indexer which is the stuff which gives all the goodies in the gui that eden.eno files are c++ files and we tell the compiler, that's basically the thing which is running here right now, we tell it that .eno files are not C++ files. So here, not compile eno files. Uh, it will compile sluba.eno.cpp, but it will not compile eno files. Yeah. So the indexer indexes eno files, but the, uh, the compiler does not compile eno files it compiles this file and, uh, and this one includes in file the big advantage of this is that when the compiler finds a problem you immediately go to the correct location the arduino ide has to add add stuff to the file and then it has to recalculate the location and this solution takes care of that now um just suppose now we add a new file yeah and i'm gonna call it a.eno for a very good reason i do a because a is alphabetically in front of all the other ones now my system is really slow now even much slower than usual because i've got a screen recorder running here and stuff like that so i'll have to be a pa patient Now, suppose that we do here a void calculate something void. No, it's actually not needed, but okay. That's our method, yeah. And now we go to demo.eno. And we do here calculate something. You will see that the indexer, this is the indexer because we didn't compile yet. The indexer tells us there is a problem here because I don't know calculate something. Yeah, function calculate something could not be resolved means I do not know how 
to implement this thing. Now if we compile, it'll work. Compilation will be faster because we only need to recompile the... See? No problem. Why is that? Because the enode.stupid.enode.cpp has changed. And we see here that it calculates something for it methods, the declaration of the method has been added to the file and because a demo.enu is in included after this one, at the point in time the compiler sees this method, it's okay. But for the indexer, it's kind of like weird because, yeah, you know, there's nothing. So now that we use an a.enu, we declare a variable. We can use here uh, int global for yeah we just declare it and uh, that's again that should be no problem as to the compiler no and not for the indexer they're all they're both happy with that uh, slow.eno hasn't changed as well and now if we want to use this one here equals four again the indexer complains about it and now the compiler will complain about it as well see global var was not declared in the scope now the other way around works yeah because what's the problem the problem is that when you run through this code he the global.var is defined here, or declared here, and demo.enu is included before a.enu. And that's the whole thing the eno file tries to fix, that you do not have to declare stuff before you're using it. And because the demo is before the a, it will have a problem. So the order of the includes, and now coming to the patron, the order of the includes is very important. Yeah, uh, It's important to know that when you're using variables. And let's create a new file and we call it z.eno and we call finish. Yeah. Slow.eno. Uh, See, the order of the files is actually, and there's even a spacing here which gives you a hint, it's actually weird because you first get demo.eno and then you get a and then you get z. So these are alphabetically ordered and one is not. And why is it not? Because the project is called demo. So the eno file with the project name is put in front of all the other ones. Yeah. So if you want to ch fix our problem with demo var, we actually have to chain move this one here. So put take this, put it here somewhere. It doesn't matter. Put it here, and uh, that works. Of course, that should work. Yeah because we declared, but we can only also use it in A. And we can also use it in Z. Calculate something else. And we say now it's five. Doesn't really matter. So if we build now, this should work all the way. Yeah. The reason is because we're using a global var. The global var is declared here. So basically it's declared here and A and Z are later and the methods this a calculate something and calculate something else have been added for you 
by Sluber in the, the sluber.inu.cpp. So for methods, they're declared here, but you cannot declare the same variable twice because that's going to give issues. So I cannot add the variables here. So for methods, that works. For variables, it doesn't work. And again, the demo.inu is the first name. Just suppose that we, and see, build fine. Now, if we rename demo.inu to not project name, yeah, okay, then you will see that now not project name is ordered alphabetically. So all your variable declarations need to be in an Eno file with the same project name as the project. So because this time it won't work, neither. Because the compiler who compiles sluber.ino goes to A and in A it says, oh, global var, I don't know that one. So that's basically what he say. He says here, he's compiling sluba.ino.cpp and he's, uh, in uh, he's in file included from ino.cpp. He's including a.ini and then he's in the function calculate something, yeah, which is here and there you're using global var. But global var is not defined, he says. Of course not because global var is defined in not project name and not project name is after. So if we rename not project name back to demo.ino, you see uh, slow.ino it will be, be adopted and demo.ino now is on top again and now we'll be compiled again so this is one of the reasons why i and many other people do not really like the eno file